damn live. Yeah. And okay. Um, SmackDown live recap here. Okay, showing Elias and Shane McMahon backstage. They're just pretty much talking about Roman Reigns. My man, Roman. And um, this is pretty much gonna be a match later on, a rematch. Yeah. Imagine and Elias saying, no, 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 I'm gonna show him. And then it comes out the new day, because oh. I guess Biggie. Biggie's back. No. <laughs> he already uh. shook, his, shook his hips for Missy. Disgusting. <laughs> but he starts off, and then um, they bring him out, and then it was some random imposter guy, and Kobe and Gacy were like, who are you? Go! Go! Yeah, take, Biggie! Go! Yeah, take this sheet with you! <laughs> go! Go! Yeah, bye! And then he goes, Now here's the real Biggie! Then they play the he's music. He's coming, he's shaking his head. Ah, forever yeah. burned. And then they're having their celebration and whatnot. And then Owens and Sami Zayn come out. Oh, and comes garbage and porta potty. <laughs> Ah, we love it. Not. And what's and them are like Sami Zayn, you'll never beat Kofi Kingston, never win anything, just like your friend Owens never did. And Owens walks walks away, hands the mic to Sami Zayn and will just walks to the back. And Zayn's like, You know what? You know what? You wanna know why he didn't win this Sunday last Sunday? Because he was distracted. Because he was more thought about his best friend who got beat up and was hanging out to dry. <laughs> Thanks to Braun Strowman, get these hands. I don't know if it was Braun Strowman. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was because he already uh, threw him in the dumpster. <laughs> um, and his name is pretty much saying. What was he saying? I don't know, I wasn't really hearing what Zayn was saying, but it ended up being, um, when he was talking, Woods just kept playing the trumpet, like, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, it's that, we'd rather hear the toot than hear garbage come out of his mouth. So, that was that. And then, ended up being a match, so Mustafa Ali was seeing Omez. Yeah. Mustafa Ali ends up winning. Seeing Omez, he hit a running... To the back of the head, like two of them, and he pinned, but there was no pin. Ali Zia rolled him out of nowhere for the win, and then he mm -hmm. rolled out of the ring. It was like, <sighs> so that was that. And then before this match, Carmella all walking around looking for uh, our truth because you know he's twenty four seven champion now. This town was holding up a wanted picture. Yep, and they're all giving Carmella and everything the wanted picture, saying if she seen him. And then there's our truth in a disguise. <laughs> what the? With a blonde wig, and Carmella's like, "You think this is supposed to help you? No." And then she's over here giving him a, a wig that almost looks like her, wearing a Makeup. dance break and whatever. And then hand him a bra. <laughs> there you go. And our truth's like, um, you may have to help me. I don't remember how I, you know, wear these. Can't get it. You know, you're going to have to unhook it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> and, um. He's just missing the high heels. <laughs> and then the being Carmella versus Mandy Rose. Mm -hmm. And then Mandy Rose is already out. And then you got Carmella coming out with our truth And Mandy's looking like. What? They're having a match and they end up being a DQ because our truth and then our truth puts Kamala on his back and he's just running. tracking her, <laughs> running her through the audience, running her just running just so he doesn't get caught by a bunch of guys. Bunch of all superstars because that's the rule now. You pin anywhere, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> so I was just like. Damn. Yeah, they even end up going in the, what is that, the ladies' locker room? All you hear is a bunch of girls screaming. 
Unless that was her screaming. And then ends up being the Kofi Kingston for Sami Zayn match. Awesomeness versus garbage. But before that match happened, before Kofi was coming out, you see Big E on the ground. Yep. And he's like saying, Owens, Owens, Owens. So he's pretty much saying that Owens attacked him. Yep. So Kofi's all pissed off coming to the ring, getting ready to go against Sami Zayn. They they had a good match. Sami Zayn tries to do whatever he can to do it, but Kofi's staying tall. Sami Zayn, at the couple minutes, he did a blue... He tried to do a blue thunder bomb, but it got countered into trouble in paradise for the win. So, that was that. And then, while Kofi's celebrating a ring, Fat Penguin Palayman comes out <laughs> with a briefcase. Yeah, He's like, holding it, like, smiling. Like, teasing him or something. Like, you want this. It's like, it looks like this is the perfect time. It, it, it does, doesn't it? And he was, Kofi, he was like this. And guess who sneaked attacked him? Donald Ziggler! Ziggy Wiggy! Haven't Whoa. seen him in a while, and then all of a sudden you see him. That's weird. And then, um, he's just attack him time. He attacked him so bad that he had to go on a stretcher. And then they finally get him to the ramp part, and then Kofi gets off and says, No, no, I, got, I can walk. I don't need to be on this. I got this. So. And then... Um, Becky Lynch and Bailey versus Lacey Evans and Charlotte. Yeah. Um, Bailey and Becky Lynch won. Bailey ends up pinning Charlotte. But we'll see. We got. I know we had. It was a good match. I know we had Becky. She had Charlotte in like this armor. For sure. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was an armor. Yeah. And then, and then and then Lacey Evans, she <laughs> woman's right, right to uh, Becky Lynch, and then Bailey went after Lacey, and then Bailey ends up being roll up Charlotte yeah. for the win. Yeah. So she's all excited and everything. Yeah. So Lacey Evans, Justin likes Lacey Evans though. I'm sorry, no, I, I, not my type cup of tea. Like, Justin's like, that's you, Ashley. You're just like Lacey Evans. <laughs> she's, she's like a prima donna. Um, and then you got the truth and Carmella. They're running. They're, al they're almost going to be leaving. And you got Axel and Dallas. See, Dallas would have won the champ because he had him down and pinning him. But Axel's like, what are you doing? What are you so, and then they're fighting. I mean, our truth get away with Carmella. Yeah. Then you got Ziggler. He's out. He's a, he's like, yes, yes, I know. I, if I was there, I'd be booing me too. I know. I know. Then he's talking about Kofi Kingston. And he's saying, it should have been me. I, sh I should have been walking out the star, not Kofi Kingston. And... What not? Like, yeah, he's like he's all jealous. Yeah, he's pretty much being the jealous Ziggler again. Oh, of course, like it's all about him. So, and then it goes to the Money in the Bank rematch. Roman Reigns, <laughs> my man. First, Elias. Death with Elias. Not, oh my God, Shane walk with Elias. He's just there. Yep, there. Shane's on his side. But before that, uh, he was on top of the rig, wasn't he? he was on the yeah, while Roman Reigns was walking to the uh, ring, he, he he stopped and he hears the lion singing on the trailer. He's singing about Roman Reigns and whatever, and Roman's just looking like... And he's like, and just continue walking, rolling his eyes, like, whatever. Awesome sweater, Roman. Yep, probably in the shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And she's like, I'll get that sweater. Eventually. <laughs> I don't even know I got a Roman Reigns shirt on. I have a custom made one. Yeah, I mean. Courtesy from her. Um, let's see. They're not matched with Roman Reigns. We got, let's see, Shane, he tried getting involved, of course. But, uh, Roman did his, like, sliding kick on the side of the ring to get him out of the way. And then, also... Lies did a dozen elbow drop. 
Yep. And pins and kick out. And then also, at the end of the match, the ref is focused on Shane McMahon, so Elias is trying to go in the corner and he's trying to take the turnbuckle thing off. And then the ref noticed it, so he's focused on Elias now. And Shane, he grabs his Elias's guitar, squeaksly puts it right there to Elias. He goes back to the ref to distract the ref. And Elias tries to hit Roman with the guitar, but Roman spear. It's my man. And he wo and he won with a spear. And then why, right before he gets to celebrate, Shane's tacking Roman Reigns. Of course. And then he does a Superman punch to Shane McMahon. Oh yeah. And um, he's gonna grab the guitar to hit Shane with it, but here we go. Clean more kick by Drew McIntyre. Oh. He's like, I told ya, I told ya. And it's like that. Like, literally. That was smack oh. that was literally SmackDown Live, really. It was it, it, uh, it was it was pretty good. It had a couple of good moments. I mean you got Big E coming back. Of course. But he they got had a couple funny getting skits. attacked. Kofi getting hurt. Had a couple funny skits, especially with uh, our truth with the bra. Yeah, our truth. <laughs> that, I'm telling you, they should have put high heels on him. I would love to see that. I'd be cracking up. That'd be funny. Um. Um. What else? Roman and yeah. then the girl match. Yeah. But how did you feel of uh, SmackDown Live this week? Um, did you do you like a Ziggler's back? Are you happy that the fat boy's back? Biggie? Missy's yeah, man? Yeah, no. <laughs> Never. Do you like... Kofi Kingston's my boy. Oh. Out of all of them. So, let us know. We like to hear you know? Yeah, oh, we do, man. How'd you like uh, Money in the Bank? Did you really like it, too? Like, it was, you know, after what happened there, and then Tuesdays? Yeah. Right afterwards? Yeah, let us know. Yeah. We'd like to hear it, Rizzy. Let us know on Money in the Bank, Raw, SmackDown. Anything, Rick. What's your favorite wrestler? Everybody's got to have one. Okay, everybody has to name a wrestler. Here, I'll name you mine. My wrestler is not in there no more. Dean Ambrose. Mine is Roman Reigns. But since Dean's not there anymore, i got to do my next top one, right? Seth freaking, freaking Rollins. Rollins. Burn it. Down. Pretty much the shield. Yeah. Even though they're not really the shield anymore. Yeah. So, but. They'll always be the shield. Oh, yeah. And if Seth leaves, I'm fighting you, Missy. <laughs> Omen Ray. Oh, no. He's mine. So, um. <laughs> but let us know. Yeah. You gotta have it. You, you like John Cena? You like the under. Are you an oldie? Do you like the old wrestles like Stone Cold? Yeah. Macho Rock. Man? Um, Raising Ramon, Kevin Nash, Undertaker. Do you like The Miz? Do you like Kane? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you like uh, Tarsal, Sheamus? Yeah, just let us know. Let's, you gotta have one. Yeah, sure. everybody's gotta at least have one. So. Even though there are probably some out there that don't like wrestling. I'm pretty sure they would, if they saw wrestling, they probably have one favorite on there. So, yeah, let us know. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. And welcome hey. to 205 Live. Live. Yeah. And of course, two matches, obviously, on 205 uh, Live. But it's all right. It's still it's good. short, so what do you expect for an hour? Yeah, but it's still good. Of course, we start off 205 Live with the Sing Bros in a ring. They're just celebrating, being like, ref. Count it so we can have a win, please. And they're celebrating, dancing, do that leg thing. Ugh. And then... Worving their whatever hips. And then you have Drake Maverick com coming out. The sound. <laughs> and saying, yeah, you're right. The Lucha House Party's not going to be here tonight. You're right. And then mm -hmm. they're like, yeah Getting all happy and excited. <laughs> and, but I actually found a perfect opponent for you. And out comes Jack Gallagher, he and looks, then... He looks like he cut his hair. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like... He doesn't have that thing anymore. Remember if you noticed it? He had that... He probably did. Looks like a snow uh, cream puff, because he's all fucking freaking white. So, 
And this is a little socks. And then Humberto <laughs> Carrillo. No, it's Taylor Lautner. Oh yeah, <laughs> Taylor Lautner. Just just a minute. You're in wrestling now. Oh, and he smiles, and he got those dimples. Unless that's your cousin, or that's your long, long ass dis- brother. <laughs> you don't even know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> but they end up winning. Of course. Humbert, they had a good match, but even though it's the same boat doesn't really do nothing. It's more Jack Aller and Humberto just teaming up doing moves on him. But Humberto end up doing a Aztec twist press on the top rope to the Sting brother and won. Yeah, he hurt, it looked like he hurt his arm a little bit there because when the ref went to go lift it up, he was like, ah, at first. The but he was. Bro- it's like the Sting brothers think they're going to win, but no. they're only going to win if they go against really low people. I got no talent. But and then they get the main event. It's a fade of five way match. Yeah. I think it's like a like a running up to see who's gonna go against Tony Nice for the Cruiserweight Championship. App checker. You got Akira Tawaza, yeah. Mike Canales, Ugh. Oni Lorkin, uh. Arya Davari, mm. and Brian Kendrick. Mm. It's funny, Brian Kendrick and Akira Tawaza, they first when they first went against each other, they tried to shook his hand, but Kira's like, no, no, no. No, we're good. We're good. We'll just fight. Um, So they're all fighting in the ring. Um, see, they all end up just going back and forth, had all yeah. actions. They did, like, I know they did, a, like, a super, superplex off the top rope to everybody, like, except the one pew, off the top rope. And then, um, let's see who's in the corner. I'll see. And then, you see who was left at the close to the end of the match. You have uh, Brian Kendrick with Akira. And Brian, he's just offering the hand again, but Akira's like, no, no, no. But Brian ends up doing um, a thing off the top rope corner move. And then Mike Canales ends up doing a move on Brian Kendrick. And then... Arya tries to come in, and but Mike Kinnett counters and puts Arya outside the ring. But Oni Lurkin comes in and attacks Mike Kinnalis, and then Arya comes back in and attacks Oni Lurkin. Yep. And Akira Tawaza did like a slam via pin on Arya for the win. And Tony Nese is all impressed, like. Yep, he mm-hmm. was. So he's my gonna be my next opponent. For... He's at, he had his belt like this, but yeah, so, checkers. Like... It was it was a lot of commotion, a lot hard to kind of remember every little detail match, but it was it was interesting. Especially the one with the top rope. Um, yeah, but you know, Mariah Cornell's trying to get involved again. Yeah, obviously, just because. Cause her one, cause Mike Niles was on a, a submission move, and she's like, "Look at me, look at me, don't tap, don't make him." Yeah, tap like, yeah, me. like, look come on over here. I was hoping he would walk over and go. <laughs> yep, and uh, Kara Tawaza was looking at her like, "Really, really, 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 oh. really? Why didn't you go? Why did you go?" And then out of nowhere, he gets a, right up between his legs and <laughs> roll up. Yep, but he didn't win though. Nah, he got uh, kick. Uh, Kicked out by, um, what's his name? Arya Davari. He stops the, the pin. But, that was that. Not that much going on to a 5 Live. Um, nah. Except, also with uh, Humberto. Right? Didn't he look like I was telling you? Didn't he look like he had, like, Power Ranger or Dragon Ball Z on? No, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. He looked like, because he had that thing, like, you know, on one of the Dragon Ball, like, Piccolo. How he had the thing like this, because he had it out like this, and then... Thing in the front. Maybe. Do you think it looks like Dragon Ball Z, or what did you think it looked like? Yeah, it looked like Power Rangers, or do you think it? I don't think it looked more like Dragon Ball Z because he had the thing out like this, like Piccolo had. Maybe. Maybe he's a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, he looks like Terrell Lothner, so. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Yeah, does he Taylor like there? Uh, That'd be messed up if he actually liked Tail Lothner. He probably does. Hey, look, you're my idol. <laughs> I look like you. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who's older, him or 
tail off there. Ooh, that's a toughie. But what did you thought of this week of two or five live? Did you like it? Did you like the fate of five way match? Are you happy that Kirito was a one? Who do you want? Who actually do you want Tony needs to go against for the title? Yeah, like who do you? Is there actually a wrestler you actually want to see try to go against them and be the champion? Um, me. I don't really know. I would say Brian Kendricks. Brian Kendrick I mean, already had the title. I mean, well, well. There's more people in 205 Live. Well, I know. I was just saying maybe Brian Kendricks or Akira Tawaza. Well, Kira Tawaza never had it. Well, so. Alright, there you go. Akira Tawaza. Let him have a chance, a shot. Mike Canellas, no. Just go back to piss on toilet. <laughs> he'll, he'll pee on you. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Let us know. Yeah. That was well, about 205 Live, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.